coaches. He's confident in his stuff. He has them down to their final strike. Here it comes. See away. Right, it says that I'm on air. You gotta go to my YouTube channel. Please go fast. Should have made a saddle for my freaking thing. Yeah, it says that I'm live right now. Do what? I'm going to get rid of our audio. Broadcast. Hey, slam the door. My main wings damaged very badly. Oh, yep, he went through my loot. Awesome, he took all my stuff. The dude was a fresh spawn, too. He's dropping all my stuff. Man. Oh, it's a bunch of free stuff. Oh, my God, land in. Sorry. The next 0 2. Still no balls and two strikes. Fouled off. Talk about having to hit two different speeds. How about you got to slow your swing down to hit the knuckler? Then you have to speed it up because now the express, the fastball is on the way. Nope. A ball and two strikes now. And he gets strike three called to end it here. And with that, this one is over. Hey, one of the keys to having a good record in baseball is to win some games at home. So this was a big win to win at home in front of their home crowd. A one-run finish, 4-3, to three, the final tally today. The Flying Squirrels wrote an important sixth inning to victory in this one. Kurt Kaiser earns the win his second. Bones Barzilla closes the door for the score. save, his First ninth of the year. Home. So that's it for us. And temporarily to a new role. Always looking to fill needs, clubs will explore every way a prospect might be capable of contributing. And when team needs collide with a player's expectations, a game of dreams also becomes a game of choices.
A player new to his double-A squad gets a tip from one of his coaches. A player receives input from a coach. Welcome to MLB The Show in this presentation now, of Minor League Baseball. Bowie. Today, the finale of this three-game weekend series between the Flying Squirrels of Richmond and the Bowie Bay Sox. It's baseball. It's the show. And it comes your way next. Kevin Arias, a right-handed native of the Dominican Republic, will be the starter. What do we need to know here, Danny? Hey, this guy has a four-pitch repertoire, right? And those are a lot of nice options to have. You can go hard, soft. You can go in and out. And any time you have four pitches, if you can throw them for strikes, you have the big advantage. Let's play ball. He's out. Ball four. Thank you, man. Digging in, Ben Arias. He'll lead things off here in the bottom Leading half of the first. The Bay Sox, the shortstop, Ben Arias. First pitch on its way. 0-1 the count. So guys are visitors as they take the field following a scoreless top half. They dropped another one last time out, and in fact, they've won just twice in their last eight tries. Yeah, Matty, this is the big one right here. They split the first two games of this series. You want to steal one right here and be feeling good about yourself. Yeah, Dero, I think one of the things you want to do, you get to the third game. You'd like to win this series and finish it off by winning game three. It's always nice to win a series, whether it's at home or on the road. So this is a big one for this ball club. Here comes another 0-2. Count remains at 0 and 2. The 0 2 once more. Another one sent foul. Stays alive, still 0 and 2. The 0 2 delivery. 1 1 1. Hit out towards second. And an off balance throw is in time as he takes one away. Wow. And with that, here's a glance at the starting lineup for the home squad. Mark DeRosa, tell us about this lineup in a daytime home contest. Are we still a big believer in batting average, Maddie? In today's game, I I'm more interested in the OPS number. But that that's not to take anything away from this base offense. Base. They lead the league in batting average. Lost and what it. that tells me is they're getting a lot of guys on base. There's a lot of guys with some good approaches and good plans today. See if that leads to a bunch of runs. Covington backs up and takes care of it. Two away. Standing in, Ken Saunders. And for that him, you have to think a the turnaround is coming. Yeah. Clearly not going his way Saunders. of late. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. And it's fouled away. 
Bases are empty here with two men out. I think I'd take that one too. It's 0-2 now. Barzilla isn't really known as the kind of starter that goes deep into games. It's not that he isn't capable, I'm sure. He just hasn't been that guy that works deep into games with regularity. Matty V, I'm not sure it's this guy's fault, but I think it's more the fault of the metrics and the way we look at pitchers now trying to limit the number of pitches and the number of appearances they have with particular guys in the lineup. Straight up, straight up. Pitch popped straight up. Barzilla has got it, and the side is retired. And inning in the books, no score here on the show. Now with the plate, Angel Ramirez. And as you check out his righty-lefty splits, no surprise that he hits better Angel. against southpaws than he does Ramirez. against right-handers. First pitch coming, here it is. Now a ball hit pretty well to left, but this is going to wind up in the seats foul. Oh, one pitch on its way. Called strike, 0 and 2. Here's another 0 2. Not close with the knuckleball that time. Popped him up. Covington has a play. He's got it one away. Time for a look at the defensive alignment for the visitors. And if you look at the numbers on this team, defensively, they're in the top five fewest errors in the league. Flashing the leather, picking and grinning. Keep an eye on them. They play stout defense. Now with the plate, Javier Reyes. He'll Batting swing it fit. from the left side the right left here. Fielder. Loves hitting left-handed off of right-handed pitchers. Oh, yeah. Hitting over 300 against right-handed pitching. Here's a swing and a shot back up the middle. And that's into the outfield for a one-out base hit. Dan, that was a nice piece of hitting right there. He didn't try and do too much and stayed on that ball, took a knuckleball right back where it came from. You know, and, and frustrating too, d as a pitcher, when you're, you make your living off of that knuckleball, that wasn't that bad of a pitch, but he just that rifles exists. this one right back the up right the middle field. for a base hit. Anthony Santander. Anthony Santander, the next to bat. As he'll go after the first pitch and bounce it into foul territory. The average has been good. 306 to start the day. Two home runs and 22 RBIs. Lifted in the air to center field. Duggar's there for two, it. Two, two. And he brings it in for the second no out lighter, of the no inning. Lighter, cut it. Digging in, Jack Messer, as he'll get his first the opportunity in this one. Jack Messer. He comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing Aye. pitch. There's a knuckleball giggling at him over the inside corner. And now the knuckleball in there. Strike three called, and the side is retired. One hit, one left. We'll go now to the top of the third, and we are tied nothing, nothing. So stepping in, Gregorio Cabrera. He went deep in the contest the last baseman. night. Gregorio. Cabrera. First delivery to him on the way. A big swing and a little pitch. The knuckleball has him fall behind. Oh. 
just off on the yeah. timing for okay. that knuckleball. And a knuckleball ties him in knots there, and that's the first out. At the plate, Barrett Hayes. His average Batting for the done. year sits in the 280s entering play. Number 28. And now pitch on the way. Just able to get a piece of that for strike one. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Moving under it, Tucker. And that's the second out of the inning. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Ben Arias. He got on top of ben. one and was a ground out victim last time. Yeah. In there, no balls and a strike. This year against right-handed pitching, Arias brings a batting average in the low 220s to the table. Yeah, Matty, he's well aware of it. Runners in scoring position, that's where you need to be on your game. He's just expanded the zone entirely too much in these situations. Bottom of inning number three, nothing, nothing, our score. Line, but speared on a hop. Throw to first in plenty of time, and the side is retired. Nothing across here this half. On now to the top of inning number four, and we are tied, nothing, nothing. In now, Christopher Bostic. He's set to lead us off in the home half of the fourth the inning. This game is rolling right along as we move into Bostic. the middle innings with no score. You'd think by now one of these two teams would be able to get some base runners on and get him in, but that hasn't been the case. Oh, one count. Here's the pitch. Hit down the third baseline. But this will wind up a foul ball, strike two. Here it comes. Foul toward the third base dugout, but this will get back into the seats out of play. The next 0 2. And he fouls this one off. A shot to second base and handled for the first out. Now at the plate, Ken Saunders now comes into it. this at bat 0 for 1 Ken. in the ball game. Saunders. Here's the pitch. Hit the other way out toward right field. Moving under it, Blumenthal, two down. At the plate, Angel Ramirez. He flew out First in his baseman, last at bat. Angel Ramirez. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Hey. Right on the inside, Black on taken one. for a called strike. Behind 0 and 2 now. Hit sharply on the ground to the left. And that's through for a hit. Hey, no runner, no runner. We take Eat a look it. at the numbers up to this point. You see he's only given up two hits so far today, so he's been hitting his spots all game long. Remains to be seen if he can now keep that shutout back going forward, but I'm not betting air. against him. Right First there. delivery to him on the way. Sent in the air out to straightaway central. Duggar's there for it. He makes the play, and that'll end the inning.
So it's no runs on a hit, no errors, and a man left. On to the top of inning number five we go, and we are tied nothing-nothing. Digging in, Anthony Santander Leading as we move past the halfway off. point in this one the and begin fielder. the bottom of the fifth. Anthony Santander. First pitch on its way. Fouled away. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. Behind 0-2 now. And a step off. Two once more. Still no balls and two strikes. Another 0-2 home. Knuckle ball strike three called as that thing came back over the plate one away. I'll tell you right now this guy has a shutout going and it's been all business. He's not messing around trying to pick at corners. He's being aggressive in the zone and he's attacking each and every one of these hitters up to this point. And at the plate Jack the Messer hitter. 0 for 1 for yeah. him here in this one. Messer. First pitch of the at bat. This ball's hit in the air down the right side and out of play. 0 and 1. And they'll issue the intentional walk here. Interesting decision with the bases empty and one away. Stepping into the box, Gregorio Cabrera. Third He's baseman. 0 for 1 thus far. Gregorio Cabrera. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Up, up, up. Popped him up. Allen is there. He hauls it in without any trouble, and there are two away. Ready for another chance. Barrett the Hayes as Number the switch 20. hitter will take his cuts left-handed here. Swing and a miss, and he's behind 0-1. Messer, the runner at first with two gone. Now a fastball as he just reared up and let that one fly, and the inning is over. So no runs on no hits, no errors, and one man left on. We're through five here at the ballpark, and we still have no score. So the batting order turns over now and set to go, go Ben Arias. He'll look Not to get shortstop. something going here in this ben. scoreless ball game. Arias. Here's the first pitch to him. Starts him out with a good dancing knuckleball for a strike. A frustrated swing and miss at a knuckleball. I got to say, his command of the corners in this start has been pretty exceptional. He's mixed east and west really well, and it's a big reason why he's had success. Got him to go down swinging there. Ben Arias is sent packing to begin the bottom of the inning. Boy, he's just been setting him up and knocking him down all afternoon. We've seen a lot of punch outs from him where he didn't get much resistance. Three pitches right now there and see you later. Baseman. Into the box, Christopher Bostick. And a swing from him yields a foul pop out of play to the right. No hits to this point. Here's the 0-1 pitch. Hit one, on the one, ground one. to short. Backhanded. And there's out number two. Ready once again, Ken now Saunders. Catcher, Ken. And the pitch. Way behind that pitch. It's 0 and 1.
behind 0-2 now. Throws in on strike three for the final out of the inning. Nothing doing here this half. We're through six full, and we still have no score. So here's the cleanup hitter, Leading Angel Ramirez. Base, he singled his last base time base. up. Yeah, guys, Angel. everyone knows he's been Ramirez. slumping. Dan, you can certainly attest to this, only amassing a solid one hit in your entire career. But pressure's <laughs> off now. Maybe he gets hot. Here comes the first pitch. High and deep to left. This one's got plenty of distance. And gone. An absolute bomb. A solo shot here to left. Home run number five on the year. As they cut the lead in half, it's 2-1 now. Well, when you groove the first pitch a strike, these hitters are going to make you pay. Something tells me I don't have to no tell the guy in the mound that anymore. That hurts. Javier. In now, Javier right Reyes. Right. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. Duggar racing back to the track. Relay, relay. But he can't get to this one. Relay it's three, off the wall. Three. And he will make it into third with a triple. And now the tying runs 90 feet away with nobody out. When this thing left the bat, I thought he was going to break the tie by himself, but he does the next best thing, ripping the ball off the wall and coming all the way around for a triple. Now we'll wait to see if one of his teammates can bring him home. Your Julio please. Gonzalez comes now, on now, and he'll take over with nobody number out in 35. inning number seven. Julio Gonzalez. Drama and excitement. In the end, these guys came away with a victory and look on to the next one. Four to two, the final score today. The Bowie Bay Sox jumped ahead in the seventh inning and never gave the lead back. Pedro Arajo earns the victory out of the bullpen, his fifth. Irvin Williamson records the save, his fifth of the year. So that'll just about do it for us this afternoon. Thanks to Mark DeRosa and Dan Plezak and the rest of our crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. This has been a presentation of MLB The Show. To find out more, head over to theshownation.com. Here now is our final line score. First for the victorious Bay Sox. Four runs, seven hits, no errors. They left six men on base. Time of the ball game, two hours and 55 minutes. This pitcher's winning ERA is not translating into wins. A team can't win without scoring runs. His coach offers a well-deserved acknowledgement.
Here's the first pitch to him. Underway in the second of four here this weekend as the game's first pitch is taken.